Welcome on into game three of round one in the ANZ Premiership here at the Pullman Arena between the Northern Stars and the Tactics. And Anna Harrison, the Tactics, they got the win only just by six stars. Disappointing that they couldn't get that bonus point. Yeah, I think everyone was expecting Tactics to take it away, but stars can take heart in their ability to fight back. The consistency will probably be what they want to focus on, but I think there's some promise from both teams and, again, beginning of the season, so both are going to build on those. Yeah, certainly consistency will be the key across across all teams this year, but if we look at Ilya Dunn, she moved from the pulse to the tactics this year, always strong under the hoop, finishing on, what was she, 89%. Yeah, always reliable, and we saw that again in her new colours, so strong on the base, strong takes, strong holds. Um, Stars had trouble cutting her off, um, supply to the ball, and, and when she gets ball in hand, she's most likely going to convert. Player of the match performance from Karin Berger, she's looking fit, she's looking strong. She came up with 50% of the tactics gains. They had 14 in total. She got seven of them. Pretty impressive. Oh, yeah. I'd have to say, from as a defender, she is a really joy to watch. She is a player that can play a man on, but also knows how to play that space. And she's constantly moving. She's making an attacker guess where the space is. And she's reading the play so well. And obviously has the footwork to get to those balls. What did you make of the combination of her and Watson? Because it's one that could be the Silver Ferns one later in the oh, year. Absolutely. Again, the movement that, that they create and the confusion they play off each other really well. They're confident to go out for ball and leave. So I think we'll see that get stronger, stronger, and, and I would be surprised not to see that as a yeah. Silver Ferns D. Well, the defensive end for the Stars, of course, they were without yourself. They were without Kayla Johnson this year. So some real firepower missing. You know, Ali Temu really did need to step up tonight, and she did a pretty good job. Yeah, she did. She got her, her fair share of gains. I think there's still a lot of tweaking to do on that defensive end, especially that connection between Nawa, Thal Thal, and Temu playing together, creating some intercepts for each other. So it's building and it will come. And again, that applying that pressure out the front for them to be able to come out and pick off more ball is going to be key for stars. Yeah, great to see Kerry Wills make plenty of changes. So all players uh, in the 10 actually made uh, the court here today. As we take a look at the full-time stats, what stands out for you? Well, they're actually quite even when you look at it. But again, I think it's probably the tactics' ability to turn over and score their ball. That would be something Stars will want to look at again because they got a similar amount of ball. Um, and again, with the shooting percentage, tactics better on the upper hand and, and the goal attack in the Stars position still needs to be able to provide the ball to their goal shoot and put it up when needed. And look at, and look at the pickups there in favour of the Stars, 11 to 4. And the individual stats there were Maya Wilson always strong under the hoop at 94%. Perhaps the goal attacks for the Stars could be a little bit better. Hume finished on 50 and Mali Sala on 75%. So that's it from us here at Pullman Arena. Uh, next week's game, oh, let's let's wrap the round one. Of course, the Mystics had a big win over the Steel, their most convincing win in the ANZ Premiership so far. The Pulse had a nail-biter against the Magic, winning that one by one. And of course, here at the Pullman Arena, it was the Tactics uh, beating the Stars by six. So that's it for round one of the ANZ Premiership. We'll see you back next week for round two.